I have 1,600 naked mole rats. I think you could politely describe them as little saber-toothed sausages because that they really are cylindrical with these two very large protruding teeth that come out of their face. And I've worked on 168 different species from kangaroos to snakes to reptiles to naked mole rats. I keep coming back to the naked mole rats because I really do think they hold so many interesting insights and pose so many interesting questions for scientific research. In terms of aging biology, I think the naked mole rat is the holy grail. I think we're going to learn an incredible amount about how to maintain health quality throughout our long lives like they do. Instead of living three years, which is how long a mouse lives, lives ne live nearly 30 years. So they're living 10 times longer than expected and they don't get cancer. And we know that from the many, many animals that we've had over those years, we've never had a single tumor found naturally in our colony. So that was the first insight that they must do something because we know with humans and every other species, especially mice, that as you get into your last quarter of your life, the chances of you having cancer are really, really high. You'll see, depending on the hierarchy, they smell each other's faces, then they smell each other's genitals, then they determine who goes on top and who goes underneath. Are naked more rats ugly? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think they're, they're not the most attractive looking animal until you've spent a little bit of time with them. And at that point in time, I think that you have to admit they become really cute. When I first started working on naked mole rats, there were three labs working on naked mole rats. One of them was my mentor and one was another PhD student of hers lab. And now in the States alone, there must be at least 20 scientists who are either working with the animal or working and collaborating with people to work with naked mole rats.